Hi there, thank you for stopping by. So before we go into today's video where I'm going to play some Outer Worlds on the 16-inch MacBook Pro, I just want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. I noticed I had reached uh, over 500 subscribers and I just want to thank you for doing that. I remember when I started this channel when I had under, under 100 subscribers and I didn't really think it would be possible to get to this number so again thank you for that. Uh, I also want to address a previous video I made about the 16 inch MacBook Pro regarding the uh, noise or the uh, popping sound uh, where I filmed the MacBook Pro in a hotel room where I was trying out some things. I have to say that the issue have returned so with the 10.15.3 update the sound issues aren't uh, fixed yet so uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I, I have a return window for about 30 more days in which I can return this MacBook Pro and get a full refund uh, considering, considering it costs about five thousand dollars that's a hu uh, that's a lot of money I, I of course want it to work as it should I'm not sure when Apple is going to fix it they will they will certainly fix it but when so uh, so yeah but today we are going to take a look at Outer Worlds and see if this 16 inch MacBook Pro is capable of gaming. And yes, I know you don't buy a 16 inch MacBook Pro to game. You buy this PC I have standing on the floor here with a 2080 Ti GPU and a Ryzen CPU system. You use that for gaming. But for people who use a MacBook Pro, who are traveling a lot, living on hotel rooms, they can't bring their gaming PC with them. Maybe they have to use a Mac. So this is just a way to show if, is it possible to game on a Mac? If you have half an hour free from work or an hour, can you do that? So we will take a look at that today. I have to say some other things as well. Uh, I'm running a boot camp on this uh, machine connected to this 1440p display. And by the way, the specifications on this Mac will be written down here so you can see what kind of Mac it is. The graphic drivers you get with Apple, they are not really up to date. The strange thing is that you can't go to amd.com and you can't download the official Radeon Pro drivers. There are some settings in there that prevents, prevents you from installing those drivers on this uh, MacBook Pro. So what I did is I I went to a website called bootcampdrivers.com. Yeah, I know it sounds a little bit fishy, but uh, I installed the latest AMD driver from that site and uh, that's what I'm using on this 16 inch MacBook Pro. Everything is uh, from bootcamp except the graphics driver, which is from bootcampdrivers.com. So yeah, uh, let's just start up Outer Worlds and uh, just play a little bit and uh, see how it works. Let's just uh, change the settings to 2560.1440 and everything on low. Just go to apply, keep, and um, let's see how this works. Okay, here we go. So native resolution of this external display, uh, lowest quality settings, and we are currently at 50 FPS. Uh, I tried this with the original bootcamp drivers and I was down at 30 FPS, I think. So installing these new drivers gave actually uh, a 10 FPS increase and that's that's actually uh, noticeable here. I wouldn't really consider this extremely playable but it's 50 FPS it's uh, it works. Let's see if we go inside here. Okay so when we are inside we have 60 fps and you can hear the fan going on the mac now let's shoot something mm. 
Okay, yeah, we are around 60 FPS in close quarters here. So obviously inside here it's uh, it's playable. It's of course very playable. But when I go outside, when I go outside, you can see that the FPS counter over here it's around 43. But hey, it's still still uh, possible. Let's just go down here and see if we can find a high point somewhere. Look at the landscape. Okay, I couldn't go there. There's some there's a little lag here and there. So it's it's not it's not perfect. So we can see here it's, yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the uh, camera, but now we are at 35 FPS. So this is, I wouldn't consider this playable, but we could try to drop the resolution. Uh, now, as I said, we are running at full screen, 2560 by 1440. We and all of the graphics settings here are at low, but we can try to drop it down to, let's say, 1080, 1080p. So, uh, 1080p, that's very much more playable. Yeah, we have about around 50 60 fps in 1080p and again as i said the 16 inch macbook pro it's not a gaming gaming machine but uh, maybe it, it can help you kill a few hours when you are at work or when you're doing some other stuff you can still get the story of the game and i mean you can still you can still play the game. What if we try to increase some of, let's see, let's try the detect graphic settings here. See what it says. Okay, so 1080p and the medium settings. Let's apply this, keep. Okay. Yeah, it's around 50. 50, 60 FPS in 1080p. Yeah, that works. No problem, no real problems with that. Yeah, so this is just one game, this is just Outer Worlds and if you drop the resolution and if you do, if you drop the quality settings a little bit you can play this game without any issues. I would also recommend to try to install the latest driver since Apple won't be able to provide you with the uh, most up-to-date AMD driver and as we all understand, Apple won't spend all of their resources getting Windows to work perfectly on the 16-inch MacBook Pro. They are, of course, they are of course focusing on their own Mac OS. So yeah, that's Outer Worlds. It's playable if you reduce the graphics. So that was Outer Worlds.
I hope you liked this little video just showing you how it works on this 16 inch MacBook Pro. I think I'm going to keep it. I um, I hope that Apple will release a fix for, for that uh, sound problem. Let me know if you want me to test anything else. And until next time, take care and goodbye.